Okay guys, so as I'm editing this video, I realized that I did not have an intro or outro because that whole day was super crazy and I was rushing to get ready and to just get to the restaurants and etc. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the family when you're ready. Let me know if you've ever been to Mitchell's and to Bistro's Cafe in Miami. I love Bistro's. Um, I would definitely keep going because it's super delicious. And yeah, let me know if you guys have ever been there. I do have some social media that you guys can follow me at, which is at Carmen.Crows with two S's. Um, the name will be here on the screen and down into the description box below. Um, I do all types of natural hair content on there. So you guys, if you guys need any um, ideas for hairstyles and etc., definitely check it out. And I do have a clothing brand business as well, which is at Tapping Through Five. So feel free. To check that out as well because I'm pretty sure you won't regret it. But without further ado, let's get back into the video. Yeah, I could be on my YouTube. Hi. Nothing. Yeah. If we had more, boys, you feel me? <laughs> I appreciate it. If we have more, hey. we'll definitely. Hey, be shy. I'll be up with I made a nigga's birthday special. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so right now I'm at Bistro's, and as you guys can see in the previous clip, I showed you guys our food. I got me a chicken, shrimp, um, Parmesan wrap without the Parmesan in it, and then I have some seasoned potato fries. I believe. Thank you. Thank you. This is a passion fruit mojito, right? Yeah, no. no mango. Thank you. This is a mango um, mojito, and this one's actually good. So, a quick tip that I usually like to say is not to put too much lime and too much mint into it because then it will turn too sour and stuff. But, anyways, guys, I'm about to show um, you guys the food one more time, and then we'll go ahead. Okay guys, so I want to give like a little quick review of Bistro's Cafe. Um, this is my third, I think, or fourth time being there. Guys, don't mind me, I'm wiping off my makeup. Me, with my makeup starts getting oily or I feel like I'm not going to do anything that's that important. 
I start to take it off because I want my skin to break out too bad. My skin has been doing pretty good, honestly. I do have some dark marks, which if you guys have some suggestions for like dark marks and etc., please comment them down below because I've been trying my best to um, work on my skin a little bit better because yeah, I got like the skin kind of down pack of like what I feel like I should eat and I shouldn't eat, but I do know that I do want to get rid of the um, dark marks. But anyways, guys, so Bitches Cafe, I usually always get almost the same thing. I got me a chicken parmesan um, shrimp wrap, but without the parmesan shell, because they usually would give you like parmesan shell. Um, but I didn't want it because they usually get burnt fast because cheese usually get burnt fast. So I just got it without the shell. And I didn't get any drink today. Um, my boyfriend got a drink though and he got a um, mango mojito, which honestly and truthfully, I was so skeptical of him ordering the mojito because I was just like, I didn't want it to be like too sour because on many occasions when we got mojitos, it was super sour. So I didn't want him to get it and it was sour, but honestly and truthfully, it was actually pretty sweet. So the waiter guided us into the right direction and gave us, you know, the right drink to, you know, order because we asked for a sweet drink. And she said the um, mango mojito was A1, which I could agree, it was really good. So if you guys are in the Miami area, definitely go ahead and give it a try because yeah, Bistro's is really good. And you get, I would say Bistro's is not that expensive, but I would say if you could, definitely go because it's worth the amount of money like i paid i think about i think 23 dollars i think for my food but of course gratitude was included into it i think that's how you say it so i ended up paying tip already into the meal so it became like i think 30 dollars which is not that bad because i am pretty full so if you guys are in the miami area go ahead and check out bistro's cafe because it's actually pretty good and you won't regret it Okay guys, so right now I am on my way to Chris. If you guys are not familiar with that, it's like a steakhouse, um, a famous steakhouse. I'll show you guys my outfit Go in Go past a bit. this light, then at the next okay. one. Use the left lane. I'll show you guys my outfit in a bit and I'll show you guys what I order, my drink and all that good stuff Siri once I get there. Gone. I know I still want to show up, <laughs> but I look pretty cute. Honestly, my yeah, makeup. Yeah, she look amazing. Oh, thank you. It looks yeah, good. You look good. I don't look dark, thank God, because um, I just started to do a new type of makeup routine. So basically what I do is, yeah, basically what I do is I just put concealer on my dark spots and that's it. And I don't really use um, foundation because I feel like foundation makes me look a little bit too dark. So all I do is put a little bit of concealer and then I do a little lip combo. And yeah, my hair is not really the way I wanted it because it's drying up, but I did do my hair almost an hour ago, so that's kind of like. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ugh. Keep talking. Ugh. I almost, um, yeah, I did my hair about an hour ago, so it's normal for it to start drying up by now because I didn't really put much product into it. But, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys. I don't want you here It's something
Okay, you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got to kind of see a little bit of what Bistro's Cafe looks like and, like, you know, the food and as well as Ruth Chris. Now, I will say that Ruth Chris was definitely an experience. Um, it was about 11 of us, so we had our own private room, as you guys can see in the video. Um, it was just only us, which was pretty cool. But the food was very deceiving, you know, like um, my boyfriend got him a uh, filet with shrimp. And I guess we didn't read the, um, the menu the right way, and like we didn't see the ounces. Y'all, it came back so small. And we were so shocked. But anyways, it was a good experience. My drink was actually pretty good. Um, yeah. So, let me know again down below in the comments section. Have you ever been to Blue Chris or Bistro's Cafe? And if you like me, you one of them. Anyways, guys, it is Sophie the Dog. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in the next video.